vlog welcome back to the vlog i'm gonna speak british all week i'm just kidding that would drive you nuts <laughs> Guys, I'm sweating profusely. <laughs> I just filmed a video, which you guys will have already seen. Um, it's gonna go up this week. I was trying on wedding dresses. So if you haven't watched that yet, you should go watch it. Uh, yeah, sweating <laughs> everywhere. Guys, wedding dresses, they're like prom dresses. They have like no breathability. It's just like fabric on fabric on fabric. Um, so I'm very hot. It's actually Tuesday. Um, nothing exciting happened yesterday. It was just... A weird day it was like a rainy day um, I just had a lot of work to do on the computer and I went to training and I got my nails done and that's about it these are my new nails I got kind of like a purpley color I don't really like the shape that they did but it's okay I am now going to finish my work today I'm going to go see Gabby I haven't seen her in a minute um, I think I'm seeing Abby tonight too it's a busy day but I'm very excited uh, Gabby's apartment has a pool so we might hang out by the pool Let's go see what happens. Look at the sweat on my chin. Okay guys, so I'm heading out now. I'm wearing my dress from ASOS. I had this in a haul. I have my little beach bag from Primark. Isn't it cute? It was really cheap. Um, hopefully I'll remember to link the dress below. It's like a perfect, easy sundress. Let's go. So we just had lunch. <laughs> Gabby all of a sudden is like, I don't remember how to get into a car. <laughs> yeah, like you're really, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Why are you going in knee first? Oh Jesus. Well you see how the door just closed right as I was getting in. Well we are in a very intense hill. <laughs> Yay, you're here. <laughs> Gabby, do you have any updates on your love life? It's a mess, it's pretty good. <laughs> actually, it's pretty good lately, cause there's nothing. You're actually very stable right now. Yeah, we try. Cause if you guys didn't know, she was on a podcast with me and we did a full episode on her dating life and stories. And now yeah. she's simmering down. I'm trying puts chapstick. on chapstick it's melty yeah that's the worst i'm a chapstick addict any future she doesn't like lipstick she only wears chapstick and, and if she... i don't have like two or more with me i get panicked she i was just gonna say that <laughs> word panic is the perfect word um so we just had lunch we are going to oh i'm gonna introduce her to the chub rub cream guys the almighty because i'm almost right, out my shorts everyone go ahead fix your shorts i won't show well no they were <laughs> it was like a very awkward position and i was like oh sorry we're gonna get her and introduce the chub rub cream we're gonna go to the post office uh i'm gonna show her something exciting that's a secret you guys will see at the end of summer they don't know about it yet oh big it's surprise. very exciting things big surprise coming mm -hmm. get ready towards the end of summer whoop, whoop. got more of the holy grail gabby and i are treating ourselves to some ice cream on the water it's a cute little spot, Gabby. They're good. Try. This looks so good. Yeah. Thank you. It's so hot out. It's like the perfect day for ice cream and a view. Gabby and I are having quite the day. Now we're just chilling by the pool. Can you show them your cute bathing suit for all my fellow plus size ladies? Her suit's really cute. <laughs> Where's that from? Um, the bottom's from Swimsuits for All. The bottom is from Swimsuits for All, but the top's from DC Penny. It's very cute. We're at her little pool. It's actually a really nice pool at her apartment complex. And my suit is from when I did my Target haul. And this little thing is from Amazon. Okay, guys, I am home. I gotta take a shower. I <laughs> am really figuring out how sensitive my skin is on the Accutane during the summer. Let me just prop you up. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a long summer. <laughs> uh, if I'm in the sun for like, with 100 SPF, I think after some point it's like bullshit, but I bought 100 SPF and after I'm in the sun for literally like five to 10 minutes, like my skin just gets super red. I know that like, <laughs> I'm not supposed to be in the sun very much. Um, like look how red my body is compared to like my face. Like it definitely matched earlier. Uh, so <laughs> it's gonna be a long summer, but it's all worth it. Okay, so <laughs> I got this in the mail. A big old circle box from Bare Minerals. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh my, is this every color of the Bare Minerals powder? What? Stop it, you guys spoil me. I have so much stuff um, for a giveaway that I'll do soon, so. Oh my god, I always try to save, well actually I always save like a ton of this PR stuff that I don't use for you guys because I like to share with you. Um, so this is crazy. Every shade. Wow. 
And there's a brush here called Supreme Finisher. It's really soft, like insane. And then we also have Beautiful Finish. Ooh, that's a fun brush. And we have the Mineral Veil. Is this the one that you end with or start with? The Mineral Veils, way back. Like the first thing of makeup I tried was Bare Minerals. I remember I was pretty young, I can't remember. Maybe like 15, 14. Um, I remember I went to Bare Minerals and I got like the whole system. Like I bought like the full, I think it was like three steps. I bought like the blush and bronzer too, but I was like amazed. I was like, my skin looks flawless. It was like my first real foundation experience. So I have like a soft spot for them. Um, but thank you Bare Minerals. This is very generous. All right guys, so I just took a shower. And I'm going to touch up my makeup ever so briefly. My contacts are getting so dry right now. So dry. I've been trying out Aveda products for like the last few weeks. I used to love them back in like cosmetology school. But I forgot how much I love them. I go through such phases with hair products. Like I try something new. Forget the OGs that I love. This stuff is great. It's the Lip Saver from Aveda. I'm also using their um, shampoo and conditioner right now. So I need to touch up. I don't think I told, did I tell you guys I'm gonna get dinner with Abby? I saw Gabby, now I'm seeing Abby. It's crazy. I was out in the pool with her and got a little messed up. I look naked, huh? So I also wanna try out this new lip stuff I got. I got sent some stuff from Lancome. I love L Lancome, Lancome. <laughs> I love their stuff. They sent me a bunch of their <sighs> Lobslu <laughs> liqueur. <laughs> that was wrong. Uh, I don't know. It's some lip stuff. <laughs> this is the color 274. It's like a really pretty pinky nude. I don't know what the formula is like. Oh, I think this was like a long lasting gloss. I could be wrong. Um, and then I also, Bare Minerals sent me all of their powders and I was like, okay, thanks. So we'll share some of that. Oh wait, I like just showed you guys that. <laughs> well, my brain is mushy. Okay, I'm like Loki tired. I've been social for way too much today. Literally, I am <laughs> someone who like won't see someone besides like Alan for like three days and then I'll see like five people in one day. My social life's really weird. My emotions are weird. I was like low-key depressed yesterday, but <laughs> today I'm feeling better. <sighs> Hope anyone can relate to me. Um, so I'm touching up my makeup. I thought I'd kind of just share what I do. I usually just take my beauty sponge from earlier that has like product on it still. And I just like go over any areas where the makeup kind of came off. It's usually like my chin area because the water too was like kind of touching my chin and in the shower. But I, other than that, I'm actually kind of impressed right now. Um, today I'm wearing LA Girl. This is actually a very good foundation. Today I'm wearing the LA Girl Pro Coverage Concealer in the shade Natural. This, I forgot that I had this. <laughs> it's like my one tan foundation shade and I'm kind of tan from Florida right now. Uh, so thank God I had this and this actually wears really really well. I do remember I used it back when I was oily before I was on Accutane and it broke up a little bit but now that I'm on like the dry to normal side it actually wears really really nicely so if you don't have a problem with oil I would highly recommend trying that foundation out. Hmm I can't decide if I want to do any under eye concealer. I don't think I need to. I think I'm just gonna like brighten up a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade and light palette. Sometimes I just like brighten up a little under the eye with these two shades. And it just, see how it kinda just adds a little coverage back on and a little brightness. Ooh, that brightened me right up. Maybe I'll add a little more bronzer too. I do feel like I got some color today even though I was out there for a tiny amount of time. Can you ever have too much bronzer? <laughs> Probably. I didn't even set my chin. I'm gonna use a little bit of the Bare Minerals. I don't know what shade I am. Let's try this. This is Fairly Medium 05. It has been forever since I've used this. I'm gonna try the brush that they gave me. It's the Beautiful Finish. Ooh actually a pretty good color. Mm, I forgot how much I love Bare Minerals. 
and it's a powder where you can like swirl it on but you don't lose all your coverage from any like liquid yeah mm. such a pretty like coverage but it still looks really natural like i was always amazed by bare minerals i'm like how do you guys give pretty coverage but still look like skin i forgot how much i love that um and then they also i was looking at the mineral veils and they were actually all different they had an illuminating one a hydrating one the original and then like a tanner shade so i'm going to try the hydrating mineral veil i'm pretty sure this was the last step um back when i used bare minerals it's kind of like your finishing step and i'm pretty sure it just gives you like a nice finish um, unless it goes on first, then I'm totally wrong. So <laughs> could be really messing this up right now. Ooh, it feels wet. Oh, that's so interesting. It feels like um that other hydrating powder I recently discovered. Uh, oh my god, I can't find it. You guys know I just got that powder. That's like a hydrating powder. It's like a loose one. Becca, I think it's the Becca water mist powder or something. And it like feels like water when you put it on and it just like gives you a really hydrating finish but like sets your makeup it's so weird that's kind of how this feels so that looks nice nice and touched up i'm gonna throw on a little bit more blush powders just kind of like disappear throughout the day for me let's do a little bit of the butter blush from physicians formula and this is the shade vintage rouge this stuff's kind of powdery. It's not like the most amazing thing in the world, but I do like it um, for like drugstore. It's got like enough coverage where you can kind of layer it on and it gives a little bit of something. It's not too much. And I'm going to highlight again with the Urban Decay collab with Kristen Leanne. I really like this highlighter. So Beyonce, ooh, and Jay-Z. I have to sneeze. <coughs> ooh. I hate sneezes that hurt. Um, so Beyonce and Jay-Z dropped an album the other day. I don't even think I've talked about it yet. Alan and I talked about it together on our second channel. Um, it's so good. So the first night they had only dropped like the first song. It's called Ape Shit. But the rest of the album just came out and I need to listen to it. At first it was only on Tidal. And now it's on Apple Music. So I'm definitely going to listen to it. I'm so excited. Ooh, looking glowy. Uh, I cannot wait to listen to it. But if you haven't watched the music video yet for Ape Shit, it was so good. Uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but Alan and I are going to the Beyonce and Jay-Z concerts. And I am so pumped. I have been a concert queen. I, t <laughs> I told myself um, at the beginning of the year, one of my like resolutions or like goals for the year, whatever we want to call it. Um, just something I wanted to do this year was go to more concerts because I actually really really like concerts um, So I have been fulfilling that challenge I've been to a couple so far this year and I still have a couple coming up Going to Beyonce and Jay-Z, Taylor Swift and Drake So it's still three more so I'm really trying this year and I'm really enjoying it too Like I would much rather spend money on like experiences, you know, than things all right, I'm just going to throw on a little bit of lip liner, um, my usual Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk. And then we'll throw on that new lip stuff. The other day, Alan and I went to the Kiss One Awake concert. It had so many amazing people in it. The concert was so long. I was like in my glory. Um, Dua Lipa, Alessia Cara, Bozzy, Max, Marshmallow. The Backstreet Boys were last. We all went crazy. So good. I 100% have a girl crush on Dua Lipa after that. I've always loved her, but like she was so good live. Okay, lip liner is on. So like I said, this is the shade number seven. Nope, 274. Okay, let's see. Ooh. Really light formula. This feels like a stain. It absorbs like right on. <laughs> It's a little more brown than I thought it would be. See, it's a lot more like mauvey brown. I think I'm gonna add a lighter shade on top. Be right back. Let's add shade 202. It looks a little more like pink. We'll see. Hmm. 
kind of pretty with the two colors together. I'm trying to figure out this formula. I actually like how the colors look. Um, it's like interesting. I can't decide if it's gonna like dry down. It's like really, really light. Like it feels like when I put it on, it was more like just like a stain. I'm pretty sure this was just a long wearing, a light lip gloss, but the color pigment's really, really, really nice. Um, so kind of like these two shades together. This one's more brown. This one's more pink. But it feels comfortable on the skin. It's very light. So, all right, let's spray. Little Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. And now I'm going to go get dinner with Abby. Um, probably not going to vlog it because we need some quality friend time, but I haven't seen her in a while. So, see you tomorrow. Good morning. You know this red face indicates that I just went to the gym. Um, so I did personal training. It's 10 o'clock. Uh, I just took a shower and threw on my dress for the day. Uh, I'm going to do my makeup and my hair right now. I just thought I would say good morning. I'm seeing my mom today. Super exciting. Um, I'm actually going to go look at some property with her. Um, she's looking to buy some property to flip. I think I've mentioned that before. My workout was so hard today. So much sweat, but feeling good. Uh, so I'm gonna put my makeup on, fix my hair, and the next time you see me, I will look better. And we are looking normal again. I'm wearing my hair on the side part. Ooh. My mom's coming. Hello? Hey. Hi. So I wanted to show you guys the gloss I'm wearing. I've been talking about this a lot lately and I need you guys to know that it actually is like the best lip gloss I probably ever used. It's the Bare Minerals Gen Nude, like always in the color called Dolling. It's such a pretty like rosy color. Um, but this gloss is like the longest wearing gloss I have found. Um, I feel like glosses, especially lately on Accutane, my lips are so weird. It's actually the most annoying thing in the world. I don't know why, but I feel like everything just absorbs into my lips really fast, including glosses, and it gets like this weird like line and just it's really, really crusty and dry and gross. Um, but this one stays like thick and actually stays on my lips for like three or four hours, which is a really long time for gloss. So um, if you're looking for like a longer wearing gloss, I definitely recommend this line and they have like a bunch of colors. So I also got some new jewelry in from one of my favorite, favorite jewelry stores that I buy from all the time called Miranda Fry. So I was really excited. They actually gave me a coupon code for you guys because they saw that I buy from them like every week. So first we have these adorable little star stud earrings. Oh, I love them. I love dainty little earrings. I think these are so cute. Just cute little stars. I love stars lately. I also love the boxes. Like, it looks way more rose gold in person. Then next, oh, I really love these hoops. So they have a bunch of different size hoops with different charms that can go on them. So I got, I think, the medium size ones. And then they just have little crosses on them. I think these are super, super, super cool. Then, I believe I got a necklace, because I really love their necklaces. That little, like, dove pendant necklace you guys always see me wear, it's gold, um, is from here as well. So this one is, like, a much longer necklace. Um, this one can be, like, double looped, or you can wear it kind of long, but it's got, like, a little diamond charm. Ooh, that's so loud. So, you can wear it long. like this or you can like do it again i love this jewelry it's like it's good if you're my skin's really sensitive so it doesn't affect my skin and then i got this really pretty bracelet i like it it's got like just a very cool look to it and if you are wondering the bracelet does fit me um because you know i am plus size i do have like a slightly bigger wrist um i have it on the third to longest and it fits, um, so FYI, the bracelet does fit. Um, these are not like plus size jewelry or anything, um, but there are definitely options, like I said, and I have this necklace from there, my little <laughs> gold dove. Um, there's a lot of different like chain lengths, so um, you definitely have some really good options, and everything's really, really cute. Um, 
I highly recommend like I literally buy from there all the time so when they saw me tagging them over and over on Instagram they're like do you want a coupon code for your followers I'm like hells yeah so you guys can use um, the code fearless for 10% off it definitely helps the jewelry is super super cute and like trendy and cool and really really good quality like I wear them constantly so Yes. Okay, so my Wait, mom. Should I add lip gloss? Do I look good? Yeah, you look great. I have like amazing new lip gloss. Let me show it to you. Okay, show us the new gloss. So actually, it's from you, believe it or not. Okay. Um, you got this whole thing from Buxom. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's like every color you can imagine. There's one that's gold. There's one that's got blue undertones. Is this the one you've been wearing a lot? Purple undertone. You yes. love the Buxom. And in addition to that, it's um a lip plumper too. You put it on and like your lips are like tingly. Ah! Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that looks cool. It's like iridescent. It's all. They're all iridescent. They're made to be put over your lipstick. Oh, to give like a holographic yeah. look. Yeah. So you put your lip color on first, and then of course you could do it alone too. But oh, it looks really good. Yeah, right? I like that. Ooh, fun. Okay, so you got your gloss on. Pretty, right? <laughs> it's super pretty. Is that applicator like a little plastic thing? Yes, it's rubber. It's not a sponge. It's rubber. Oh, that way it... Wow, that's wacky. I don't know why. Maybe they want to just be original and cool. I'm intrigued. But you can see, too, it's rubber. It's flexible. Oh, so that's it doesn't, wacky. Maybe because the sponge soaks up so much of the gloss. Maybe. And this way it's just all gloss all the time. That's so cool. Yeah. All right. So anyway. Oh. I got confused. I tried to give you up a little Oh, that's okay. You hit a certain age. And <laughs> Dude, I feel your pain. Thank you. I feel it. I just don't know. Why. I'm the boss too. <laughs> don't you worry. I'm frightened. <laughs> All right, guys, it's later now. I am obsessed with this dress from Forever 21. Oh my God, look at the glare on my glasses. Um, it's like my at-home dress. It's like the super like comfy, soft, stretchy maxi from Forever 21, but it is sold out. But get yourself an at-home cozy dress because it's just like, it's so comfortable. It's like just wearing like a sheet. Um, so I got sent some stuff from Rude Cosmetics. I've never heard of them, so I'm gonna try it out and I'll let you guys know how it is. Um, there's like a toner, um, a setting mineral powder, which sounds good. There's also a mineral under eye setting powder too. So I really want to see if this is good because um, I love a good under eye powder. Um, then there's like this eyeshadow cream, a nice really pretty looking nude lip liner, a face mask, it's like fizzy, and then we have an eyeshadow palette which actually looks like colors I would really like. So I'll try this out. I'll let you guys know how it is. Maybe I'll put it in like a video. Um, I try a lot of new products and like get ready with me. So yeah, I'll let you know how it is. What's up guys, welcome back to View. <laughs> um, hi guys, happy Wednesday, Thursday. Happy Thursday. Um, <clears throat> in the car at a stoplight drinking some water so I'm going to the lake with my family um, and I stopped and bought some sun chips and some watermelon that was my duty but my mom texted me and said that I should get ice but I was already on the road so she told me I don't believe this I don't believe this but I'm gonna try it um, she told me that I can buy a bag of ice at the McDonald's drive-thru. And I'm about to pass a McDonald's, so I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna see if this is real. We're gonna do this together and see if this is a myth or truth, because mama fearless, I don't believe you. Um, but if they don't have it, I'm gonna get a Diet Coke anyway, so it's totally chill, I gotta get ice. I don't think this is real, but we're gonna find out. So, uh, yeah, today's Thursday. Got a little bit of work done this morning. Uh, it's 12.45 right now, right now. I'm almost to the McDonald's. We got a lot of construction going on. It's like construction in the summer a thing, I guess, because it's not winter and it's not like wintry weather. Um, but I feel like I have been stuck in construction traffic almost every day that I end up driving, so. I hope you guys are doing well and having a good week or had a good week when you're watching this. Um, today I posted my wedding, this week was wedding week um, that I wanted to do for you guys. It's only a couple wedding related videos but I thought it would still be really fun to do. I did a wedding makeup tutorial and then I today I posted trying on wedding dresses for the first time. 
and I'm really happy with how it came out. It was so crazy to try on wedding dresses and like see it all. This truck behind me is driving like a maniac and has been tailgating me for so long. Like, can we not? No, like I am so, like one of my biggest pet peeves is people tailgating. It's like, why? Why do you have to ride so close behind me? It's a safety hazard and I swear, no shade to people who own trucks, but like, mm -hmm. there you go, sir. Go. Oh yeah, he's that guy who has to like, he, he's that guy. Small penis, big truck. Okay, um, so yeah, I posted the wedding dress video today. Um, I ordered some dresses from ASOS, because uh, I buy from there all the time, and I saw they have wedding dresses, and they have a good plus size selection for the most part. Uh, so I ordered a couple just to try on, just to like get a feel if you guys liked it and wanted me to do it again. Um, there were supposed to be three dresses, but there were only two, which made me sad, but I still wanted to post it. Like, there was not another one I could order in my size on the site, so. Um, I still wanted to do it for wedding week. So, anyway, I'm sorry if I know a lot of people feel, I don't know if a lot of people feel this way, but I've seen a, a few comments here and there that um, people are getting annoyed that I'm posting so much wedding stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, it like, kind of insulted me at first, um, even though I really do appreciate constructive criticism, only because like I'm still so newly engaged and I do think I'm still putting out like normal content too. Like this week in general was just wedding week. Um, but just know like it's not gonna be all wedding videos. Like normal content will resume. Um, I'm just excited and there's so much I wanna share with you guys about it and you guys seem to really be enjoying it. So I'm glad most of you are enjoying it. That makes me happy. Uh, so yeah, oh, it's almost our turn guys. We're gonna find out the truth. Question of the day. Do they sell bags of ice? Dun dun dun! Um, do you guys sell bags of ice? I'm sorry? Do you have bags? Yes. Oh, can I have one of those too, please? Uh, bags of ice and what would you say? And a large Diet Coke. Diet Diet Coke. Anything else? No thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my god. They fucking sell bags of ice at McDonald's! Oh my god, life is so wild. <laughs> I'm reacting really heavily to this. Um, all these like new futuristic McDonald's like actually kind of stress me out. <laughs> and like they're redoing like my Target too. And it looks like really futuristic. I'm like, whoa, where am I? So anyway, that's probably all I have to say. I'm gonna get my bag of ice in this drive-thru and my Diet Coke and get to the lake. Missed my opportunity, but we had a really funny moment with the ice cream. Um, it's not gonna translate. No, it never does. I got ice cream and it melted. <laughs> <laughs> no, but okay, so here's the thing though. It's a soft serve and it's windy out and like, you know, when it starts to melt, that shit just starts flowing down. But it like, I didn't have a chance. I didn't stand a chance. No, no. Well, because it was in a cup and he filled the cup too full and it started overflowing. Is it all my jimmies got lost. And then all the damn jimmies came off and then I tried to help and I only made it worse and... <laughs> That's where the big blood. Don't don't look. Actually, don't show down that. That's where all your all my are. sprinkles. <laughs> all my sprinkles are gone. Um, we're at the lake. We just went kayaking. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of. Sprinkles. I mean, there's not that many actually. There's but like dozen. every sprinkle matters to me. <laughs> I tried to give you three, but I found on the table. And then she had three in her hair. She goes, "Here you go." 100 percent serious. Okay. Pink, green, and yellow. The prettiest colors they have. Magical. My battery's gonna die. Bloop. Hey guys, happy Friday. So I just got back from working out. I had put some laundry in. <laughs> Does anyone else, tell me your face doesn't get those red. Okay, I wasn't even planning to film this, but I'm in such shock right now, I have to. Guys, <laughs> I forgot how amazing Bare Minerals is. This is not sponsored, I am just obsessed. My childhood is back, so. Um, wow. I put some primer on. So Bare Minerals sent me like a bunch of their stuff. And I was like, oh my god, this reminds I think this that was earlier in this vlog. Uh yeah, it probably was. Um so I decided to just like put some on. So I primed my skin and they also sent that brush, the beautiful finish brush, and I literally swirled it on full coverage, and I'm just like so confused how a powder can cover everything so this is literally my skin is a hot mess like because i have like acne scars and stuff it covers everything i am baffled 
and it's so fast like I'm not this this sounds so sponsored I'm so excited right now for like easy fast moments like the spray I use all the time from Envy when I'm like in a rush this is also gonna be like my inner rush foundation like look at that coverage like yeah I have a few bumps here and there but like wow and it's such like a luminous beautiful like skin finish whoa 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 bare minerals I forgot how amazing you are I'm gonna show you in case you think I'm lying I'm going to do the other side as well and show you that it covers everything it's so weird like I'm so confused how like what I am amazed what is this coverage guys I have so much to cover I am just so shocked. You could like conceal a few pimples first, like this little guy, but on like a day-to-day -day basis, like when you just want it to look like your skin, look how luminous. What? And I'm going to set it with the hydrating mineral veil to like lock it in, but that coverage is insane in like three seconds. What? Whew, I am sweating. I always sweat when I film a try-on haul. It's oddly a lot of work physically it doesn't seem like it but you know when you're in a dressing room just trying on clothes and like you're just like hot and sweaty and irritated by the end <laughs> actually i'm not irritated but like i'm hot and sweaty uh so i just filmed a thread up try on haul look how cute this dress is though guys this maxi is so cute it was new with tags like um, thankfully I work with ThreadUp, but like even when I'm not doing sponsored work with them, I shop on there all the time. Uh, and I know people get really upset with sponsored content. Ooh, girl, look at my sweat. Um, but I hope you guys really do know that I don't share brands I don't genuinely like and love. And I have turned down so many brand deals just because I don't believe in the product. Like, please know, like, there was so much backlash the other day about my Zyrtec sponsorship. Like, I have allergies so, so bad. Like, when they wanted to work together, I was like, yes! Like, when certain brand partnerships are, like, genuine and work together, like, it's so exciting. Oh, I'm sorry I'm so wet right now. <laughs> but I, I really hope you guys just trust that like I don't share things with you that I don't really really believe in it just like sucks when things like are so negatively feedbacked that was worded really badly um, but I don't know like I'm literally gonna wear this the rest of the day like I have to go and do a car appointment um, go to Target uh, which I will bring you guys with me to we gonna go to Target but um you know like there are so many pieces from thread up that I wear constantly like those Lane Bryant joggers that are black with the white stripe I wear those like four times a week and those were from thread up like I love thread up I love all the brands I work with like I promise I can say no and I do say no to a lot so I hope you guys understand I just wanted to say that really quick and not be annoying okay let's go run errands so quickly before I head out I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch uh, I've been eating so much watermelon lately it's kind of insane um, but it's one of my favorite fruits and it just like fills me up so I'm gonna have some watermelon and I'm gonna heat up some of this chicken a pretty low point lunch um, yeah easy breezy guys look at my sad little targets it's been like being renovated for so long like months and she's gonna come out better and more beautiful than ever literally like what what the fitting room is now in the center of the store so I'm trying to find the plus sizes now but I really like these sandals Let's see if they're wide enough Surprisingly, yes. Okay, getting those. She always has really cute shoes here at Target. Those are kind of cute. Ooh, I like these. Those are cool. The home stuff is where the plus size used to be and I literally can't find it. Ooh, look at these cute little numbers. Kelly, you need all of these. Guys, there's one pair left of these. Please fit. Oh, no, they're too tight. But these are so cute. I love these. I'm gonna get these too, because I'm really into slides, and I like the pom-poms. Okay, I finally found 
the plus size section. It's like very confusing in here right now. It's like by the food. Which what we have here. Oh, Universal Thread has plus size here. That's cool. Hmm. Oh, this is cute. This is adorable. Oh, I love this. This will match my new little shoesies. I haven't looked at the clothes here in a while, so I bet there's gonna be a lot that I haven't seen yet. Ooh, look at this fun little number. That'd be cute with some high-waisted shorts. Oh my God. Guys, they got a lot new plus since the last time I was here. There are so many like super cute little like flowy crappie tops for like high-waisted shorts. Like, look how cute. I'm actually really impressed. Ooh, and look how cute this would be together. It's like a cropped rolled sleeve blouse with these pants. I'm actually really excited right now, guys. There's so much. Ooh, cute little midi skirt. Ooh, high low. That's a fun pattern. A lot of things that kind of correlate and match. Not this so much, <laughs> but that's a cute little top. My mom would love that. Ooh, we got some shorts. I wonder how their shorts are here. I could kind of go for some shorts. Look at these cool pants with the frayed bottom. These are cute. I've never tried Universal Thread. I wonder how their pants are. I've heard good things. Maybe I should try these. They're my size. Hmm. They look promising. These super cute wide leg striped trousers and just a little tank. These are such cute pants. Guys, I'm actually shook at how much. This is really bad. Like, I got way too much stuff. Um, so, I'm going to save it for a haul. I'll do like a try-on haul because there's literally maybe like 15 things here. So, I got these really cool um, black kind of like palazzo pants. Look how cute this skirt is. I think it's a squirt. Maybe it has shorts. I don't know, but I love the color. I love the little wrap detail. I grabbed this skirt. I love like high-waisted skirts and crop tops. I grabbed this and sized up so it will be flowy. I'm gonna belt it. More pants, more shorts. I love like these flowy high-waisted shorts. Um, some basics, some of those shirts from the beginning. Guys, it's gonna be really, really bad. But I'm gonna film a whole try-on haul for you, lol. 1x, 2x, 3x, get it all. Okay, so now I'm actually getting what I came in here for and what I needed. Uh, so far we've just picked up some hot sauce, sweet potato, Mexican cheese, non-fat Greek yogurt, lemons. Okay, I'm home, Whew, it's a hot day. I'm packing up my laptop in my backpack. I have a car appointment. My car place is so slow. So I'm going to bring my laptop and edit the vlog. I hope you enjoyed this week. I love you guys. Make sure you subscribe. I'm going to do um, that try on haul very soon. And I love you. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure you're also subscribed to my second channel. My fiance and I have a second channel where we do all sorts of fun stuff every week. Um, it'll be at the end here. Okay, bye. Bye.